Naturally, these three rides share a general overall panache as members of the same category, but they are by no means cookie-cutter rides with plenty of aesthetic differences in spite of the dearth of body panels that would normally define the looks, or at least strongly influence them. Yamaha and Suzuki both favor a more abbreviated, Cyclops headlight king that seems just big enough to contain everything. Honda, on the other hand, put a bit more into the project with a mini cowl that comes complete with a bikini fly screen that admittedly protects very little beyond the instruments tucked away just behind, but makes for a more substantial looking front end. To be honest, I find most naked bike headlights to be a little ugly, even comical looking due to the whole transformer thing, but I can see that it might actually be a selling point for some buyers. All three carry minimal front fenders nestled between blackout fork sliders for a strong connection to the garage custom world. Honda alone uses the cheek fairings for a bit of bling with a splash of silver paint that sets them apart from their surrounds while Yamaha hops for a more subtle blackout and Suzuki keeps that area clean with no cheeks at all. The fuel tanks are slightly different as usual, and in this case Yami is the one showing up with the ugly date with an unusual shape that incorporates a sharpish angle that just ruins the smooth curves for me, 